Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the strategy of the Republic of Western Armenia, ninth day of the seminar. The 700 years old church in Trabzon will serve as a museum. My Artsakh, War Gonza and Misha Grikolyan presenting a video about the Artsakh War. The number of international tourists decreased by 74% in 2020, United Nations. Villagers protecting wild goats from hunters in van. Participation of Armenians in the Great Patriotic War. New book, new facts. The world premiere of the film Francisco. On the ninth day of the seminar, President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahamian made a speech while Prime Minister Seda Melikan answered the questions of those present. The important articles of the Treaty of Severs referring to Western Armenia were discussed during the seminar. They noted the fact that the Treaty of Severs was ratified by a number of important countries but not by Western Armenia. The government of Western Armenia ratified it on June 24, 2016, when the constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia was regulated. Presenting the position of Western Armenia, the president said that the parliament and government of Western Armenia should continue the struggle only in a legal way, without interfering political issues, otherwise they may face political opinions with no legal basis. They discussed future programs in which great importance is given to the patriotism of young people. The government of Western Armenia intends to support 10 students a year with scholarships to study at Eastern Armenian universities. The 700 years old St. Michael's Church, located in Achkabat region of Trabzon, Western Armenia, will serve as a museum for local and foreign tourists. The restoration of the 7th century historical building in Ortamahale was completed after about two years of work. In 1988, most of the province was declared a protected urban area. The historic building, which will contain both archaeology and ethnographic specimens, will be published in the coming months as the Ortamahale Museum. The founders of the War Gonza project Semyon Begov and Timafei Yermakov presented a new video with the little singer from Artsakh, Misha Grikoyan, on the occasion of the Armenian Army Day. My Artsakh is the soundtrack of several films about Artsakh by Semyon Begov and Timafei Yermakov. The films will be presented to the audience soon. The video particularly touches upon the recent Artsakh war. Let us remind that the Azerbaijani armed forces launched a large-scale attack on Artsakh on September 27, targeting the civilian population. The number of international tours decreased by 1 billion or 74% in 2020. The year was the worst for tourism, according to the UN World Tourism Organization. According to the organization, due to the situation created by the epidemic, the sector's revenues fell by $1.3 billion. That is 11 times more than the losses due to the economic crisis of 2009. It is noted that the epidemic has affected from 100 to 120 million jobs in tourism, most of which are small and medium businesses. According to the UN World Tourism Organization, tourism in the Asia-Pacific region suffered the most, 84% of the epidemic. The number of foreign tourists decreased by 74% in the Middle East and Africa, by 70% in Europe, by 69% in South Africa and North America. The number of wild goats protected by villagers in the province of Gürpnar, Van, Western Armenia, has reached about 500. The residents say, our problem is mainly with hunters. We let no stranger enter our territory. Goats have trouble finding food in winter. Last year, helicopters brought grass to feed them. We expect the same this year as well. The work participation of the Armenians in the Great Patriotic War was published in Yerevan on the initiative of the Don Moskvi Cultural and Business Center. The book is dedicated to the 75th anniversary of the Great Victory. The authors of the book are lecturer at the Yerevan branch of Moscow State University after Lamanosov, Stepan Stepanyan, and executive director of the Don Moskvi Culture and Business Center in Yerevan, PhD Vahram Karapetyan. The 17 chapters of the monograph book present the participation of the Armenian nation on all fronts of the Great Patriotic War, including national military units. The authors collected the participation of Armenians on all fronts, based not only on known facts, but also on materials that have not been yet put into scientific circulation. The participation of Armenians in the battles of Moscow, Stalingrad, Kursk, as well as the Crimean and Soviet-Japanese wars is presented. The book was published with the support of the Moscow Department of Foreign Economic and International Relations. 
The documentary about Pope Francis will be shown in online cinemas from March 28 after being shown on Discovery+. Plus. The film, directed by Oscar-nominated director Yevgeny Afinyevsky, premiered at the Rome Film Festival in October last year. Hollywood Reporter informs, American-Armenian doctor and producer Eric Israelian, who is also the co-producer of the film, shared on his Instagram page. The film also presents the Pope's efforts to inform the world about the genocide against Armenians as well as his work on various issues, such as climate change, immigrants, refugees, women's empowerment, sexual violence, border walls, etc. Israel wrote. Now we present you Gole Hoynar by Akunk Ensemble. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.